everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so i'm starting day two off with breakfast the breakfast is like a buffet system so we can pick and choose whatever we wanted they had an array of salads cheeses hummus and various other things so this is my breakfast today and i stuck with some salad olives hummus and some cheese some orange juice and some food which is known as fava bean soup so finally after breakfast our family friend arrived at the hotel and came to pick us up and as you've probably known by the title already we're off to see the blessed tree. Usually whoever comes to Jordan would want to rush off to Petra straight away but I would avoid going to Petra straight away only because everything is really really far here all the sightseeing places are at least two to three hours away. So the family friend told us the tree was about two and a half hours drive away into the desert. Honestly, I really underestimated how far each place was to visit. And if you don't already know about this tree, I'd go on to Wikipedia or anywhere and definitely search about this tree. It's a really interesting story. And I can't believe in a couple of hours I will actually witness this tree for myself. I'm really, really excited. You are going into the desert, so make sure you have plenty to drink and bottles of water with you. And I still think Jordan, Amman is one of the cleanest cities in the world. I can't wait to see the Jordanian desert and the desert terrain. And here it is, the Jordanian desert. Honestly, it's really, really hot inside the car. I'm just feeling mesmerized looking outside the car window. And here it is again, my mom having a gossip in Arabic with the family friend. I did have a little read at home just before I did arrive in Jordan all about this wonderful tree. I have heard that there's no other trees around, it's a standalone tree and there's nothing for miles and miles in the desert. We shall see when we get there. It's good to make sure you have a headscarf with you and make sure you have a jacket, your arms are covered and your legs are covered. It is a holy place so make sure you're respectful while visiting. So we are currently driving towards the direction of Syria. It is a really long trip, but I know it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. I've noticed all of these rocks and they're really black in color. They're all really sharp and jagged. Some have been left in piles. Piles do look man-made. I assumed they were graves, but when I asked a family friend, he said they've been here for hundreds of years. And this has to be the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen a twister in a desert. 
I think they're also known as dust devils. I saw quite a few of these, but this has to be the biggest one I've seen. Honestly, this was so cool. I'm so glad I captured this. And here it is. We had to stop the car just to admire the sign. This was so well worth the two and a half hours in a hot car. We stood here for a while just looking at the sign because it was really unbelievable. So we took a right turn and started driving towards the blessed tree. At this point I had butterflies. It was a straight road down from here. The closer we were getting, the more excited we were feeling. And here it is, the gate to the entrance for the blessed tree. I could see some police heading towards us. But they only wanted to know where we were headed. It's nice to see the area well protected. The excitement was seriously mounting at this point. There it was in the distance. Step out of the car and have a good read of the sign. I still couldn't believe what I was seeing. And there's the blessed tree. It's winter now so there's no leaves on there. But I heard during summer it's full of green leaves. I was getting goosebumps and butterflies just walking towards the blessed tree. I can't see any of the trees around or in the distance. It's about 1,400 years old and it still survived to this day. When our prophet was a child, he sat under this tree and this tree shaded him. Please do look up the story. This is all of us in shock, just having a good stare. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was winter, no leaves, no flowers, and there were white butterflies floating in and out of the tree. It was really unbelievable. I just couldn't believe there were butterflies floating in and out. I did take a step under the tree and I was really shocked to what I saw and felt. Even though it was the dead of winter, there were still little green buds on the tips of the blessed tree. First I had a good walk around and then I actually went under the tree. And the temperature under the tree was cold as a fridge. Even though there was no leaves shading us. From being really hot outside to being really cold under the tree, it was just really hard to process. I didn't want to continue recording out of respect because people were reading namaz under the tree. So after sitting for a while, we headed back home. We did blow a tyre on the way out. Um, I didn't want to record it just in case I didn't want to embarrass the family friend. I would go easy on the liquids only because there's no toilets around. And it is a total of a five hour journey. The whole experience of seeing the blessed tree was really unreal. 
I can't believe I witnessed what I saw. Please do look into the story. And I highly recommend everyone witness this once in their lifetime. I've already told my dad that he's got to see this blessed tree. Just sitting here editing this video is giving me goosebumps. I'm so glad the start of my Jordan trip was visiting the blessed tree. I will be putting up pictures on my Instagram so do follow me there. I can't wait to get back to Amman and to the hotel and in bed. So if you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment below. And don't forget to press the bell icon for more notifications for our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you on my next vlog.